What's up guys, Mike Dakota here. Today we're gonna go over the next problem called bit strings. Um, this problem is significantly easier than the other two, but um, yeah, let's go over it. Um, you're, so you're given a number n, your task is to calculate the number of bit strings of length n. So if n is equal to three, the correct number is eight because the possible bit strings are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, um, this problem is very easy. Um, so there's two things you need to know. Two things you need to know. Okay, so let's say we have, I don't know, length n is equal to three, right? So here in this case, n is equal to three. So there's three places. And um, remember, bit strings, you could have possibility of one or zero, right? So there's either one or there's zero. So the two possibilities you could have, uh, the total possibilities is two then, right? So then we would just have two here. There's two, two ways to put it here. And it's the same thing. There's two ways to put it on the second bit also, right? And there's another two ways to put on the last bit, right? So n equal three. So our eternal answer in this end would be two times two, which is four times two, which would be eight. And that's the answer, right? That's the answer. So yeah, n is equal to three. There's three different places. And for bit strings, you could either have a one or a zero. So there's two, uh, two choices for each of them, right? Two choices of each of them. Okay, so essentially is is if you have if you generalize this for like n equal to like nine or ten or whatever, um, the answer would just be two to the n, right? Two to the n it would be your answer. Okay, um, so the hard part is this problem is that um, they want you to print the result modulus ten to the ninth plus seven. Okay, so the hard part is that this number will get overflow. And you want th this number to mod uh, 10 to the ninth plus seven. Okay, so you wanna print this to the number to mod 10 to the ninth plus seven. So this is the answer, two to the n mod 10 to the ninth plus seven. Um, you're gonna get an overflow sooner or later. So basically what they want you to do is that you want to use this property of modulus. So if I explain what they mean is that, um, so let's say I have like five, let's say I have X is a number and Y is a number, right? Both of these are numbers. So if I take three, uh, I don't know, X is a number, Y is a number. If I take X times Y and I do a modulus, mod by like Z or something, right? Remember mod is finding the remainder, finding the remainder of the number. This is equivalent to doing x mod z times y mod z. Okay, and then you could uh yeah, this times mod, and then you could mod again mod z. Right. This is a this is a property you could learn for modulus. X times y mod z is equivalent to x mod z times y mod z mod z. Okay. So, yeah, um, to do this problem, once you know this property, you know 2 to the nth is equal to 2 to the n mod by whatever this number, 10 to the 9 plus 7, right? So, you know, this is, this is going to overflow sooner or later. So, what you're going to do is you're going to actually use a for loop, and you're just going to separate this into, like, um, individual 2 mod 10 to the 9th plus 7. Right, you're gonna do this, and you do times two mod ten to the ninth plus seven, and then you keep on going so on and so forth until you get to n. Right, do this n times, and then in the end you could just mod by ten to the ninth plus seven, and that'll be your answer. That's essentially the gist of it. Right, you're gonna do this n times, so then you would get uh, in the answer you would get the same answer. So yeah. Um, the code is very, very easy, super easy. Um, read in the number n, and then let's create a variable. Let's call it x. I use long, long because I don't want to, LL means long, long, okay. So long, long x is equal to one. I'm gonna loop from zero to n, and every time I'm just gonna multiply it by two, and I'm gonna mod by this number mod. I create a variable called mod, it's a constant. It just represents 10 to the ninth, and I just wrote it out. 10 to the ninth plus seven. So 10 with 10 with zero nines and then one seven. 
that's a variable mod. And I just use that. And every time in this for loop iterates, I take x and I equal to x mod uh, this mod. And uh, yeah, in the end, I just print out x. So yeah, this problem is very easy. There's nothing else to it. Um, just make sure that you understand the mod property, and then this is super easy. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.